Hi guys, my name is Biora. In the last video, we worked on getting our credentials set up. In this one, we're gonna actually use them in order to grab some interesting data. So this first one, we're gonna be worrying about grabbing a PUUID for a player. PUUID stands for Personal Unique User ID. And what we're gonna use that for is to eventually find things like their match history. And then from their match history, we're gonna grab specific matches and look at those matches. So first thing we're going to want to do, go to developer.riotgames.com. We're going to want to regenerate our API key if it has expired. Uh, if not, we're going to copy it. We're going to replace it in our environment file here. Now keep in mind, I am not blurring it this time. I really just did it last video as a way to explain that you really want to keep it private if it's your production key, if it's your real API key, and especially the uh, Google service account you definitely want to keep that private but the development riot key Don't really have to worry about it. You can just regenerate it whenever you want and it automatically expires every 24 hours So I'm just gonna keep it unblurred for the sake of my sanity. I don't really want to have to go through and blur it in post But uh, okay, so I have that and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you The way an API works is it's basically a contract between the server and the client and what I mean by that is I'm gonna make a request so I'm gonna say to the server hey can you give me the information at this endpoint specifically the PUUID the game name and tagline for a player who has game name and tagline X and Y right that is how that works the return value in this case is this information right and these are the possible scenarios that could occur. So HTTP status 400, bad request, meaning I did something wrong, I wrote it wrong. 401, unauthorized, meaning I don't have the right credentials. Um, or actually, I think it's that I haven't provided any credentials. 403 is I've provided them, but they're not the right credentials, I think. Um, and then 404 means the data was not found, yada, yada, et cetera. Right? 200 means that it has worked. So keep that in mind. Uh, what I'm gonna need for this is I will need some player's game name and tagline. So let's just go we.gg. We'll go to the leaderboards and we're just gonna take the top player. In this case, I cannot read his name. I don't actually know who this is, but we're gonna use this player. So mark that down here. We have game name is this. Uh, tagline, we don't include the actual pound sign. Uh, and then also make sure you include your API key in the query parameter, and we're gonna execute the request. Now, the response code is 200, good. Um, and if I go to this link here, I'll see the return. So in this case, I got the PUUID, I got the game name and tagline, awesome. This is what I was looking for, right? Now, what if there's a way we can do this in Python? There is. Right, so I'm going to actually copy this whole link. I come in here, I'm gonna say link equals that link. Uh, I'm going to just, for the sake of my, I'm gonna replace this, just for the sake of looking at it, makes it nicer to look at. Okay, now what I want to do first before I do anything is I'm gonna show you what a function string is. I'm gonna take some of these things out and I'm going to turn them into variables instead so that they're easy to change later. Okay, so I'm gonna take this here and I'm going to replace it with brackets and it's going to be game name. And this tag, I'm gonna replace it with brackets and so going to be tag line. And the key here, I'm going to replace this with API underscore key. Now we need to define those variables, right? So I'm gonna say game name in this case is the, those characters because that is what it was prior tag line equals God. And then for the API key, if you remember, I think last video or two videos ago, I'm going to import for from dot EMV, the package dot EMV, I'm going to import the function load dot EMV. And we're going to load our environment variables. And then we'll also need to import OS operating system so that we can actually grab those variables. And we'll say, API underscore key equals uh, OS dot environ dot get. And then I think I called it riot API key. 
So in this case, our API key is that. Now the link itself should return, if I was to run this, the link, uh, and, and if I printed the link, it should give me that same link that we just had before. So I'm gonna print link, and let's just check. Cool, and if I go to this link, it should give me the same thing, right? It's the same link. Now, how can we tell Python to go to that link and get me that information? That is where a package called requests comes in. So import requests. And all I want to do is I want to say response, meaning I want I want the response, right? So response equals requests dot get link. Cool. That's it. So what is my response? We got response 200, which means it actually worked. So if I know that it worked, that means I can extract information from it. So in this case, response.get returns something that you can extract a JSON information from. So JSON is a type of file structure uh, similar to the structure of your service account information. If you look inside that, that will give me this information. So I have PUUID is this. I have game name is what I put in, tagline, God. And now if I wanted to just get the PUUID, I can put in brackets PUUID and it'll just give me this here. Okay. There you go. Now I have this information. Now, what if I wanted to make this easier to do quickly? What I could do is I can wrap all of this here in a function. I can say I want to define a function that is called, let's say, get P U I D and the parameters in this case are going to be game name. I'm going to set that equal to none at the start. Well, we want a tagline also none and then right or we want our API key and then I want to return this. Meaning if I run this function with these parameters, AKA the parameters that are right up here, I want it to return the response PUUID from the link that uses those parameters. I'm gonna run that cell and then down here, let's try to run that. So get PUUID, game name is game name, tagline is tagline, API key is API key. And let's see what happens. Boom, there you go. You get the same information. And this is a nice way to make it easier to get this information in the future. So if I wanted, for example, say I just erased this entirely, right? What if we just put that Actually, I'll keep the API key because I don't really want to have to write that all again, but I can just write anything here. So say I wanted to now go back to op.gg and we'll go to the leaderboards and we'll just grab someone random. Let's grab Kumo. So Kumo 9 NA1. Let's try that. Say I want Kumo 9 and the tagline is NA1. Let's see what Kumo's PUUID is. There you go. And it returns that information. Now, if I wanted to, I can actually spit that back into the API. So if I was to come back here and go to a different endpoint. So if I want to do this by PUUID instead, I would get the same information, but this time I'm using the personal ID instead of their game name and tagline, right? So let's try that. So I'm going to copy the same function basically, but this time we're only going to take the personal user ID. So PUID equals none. And this time we're going to get name and tag. And we're going to have to change this endpoint. So instead of by right ID, it wants by PUUID. So we're going to say by PUUID. And here we're going to change this to PUUID. We're changing this endpoint, making sure we're going to the right endpoint. And so now what I want is I want the game name. Actually, let's do, let's make this, we're gonna return a list here. I want both. I want the game name and I want the tagline. Or even better, actually, we're gonna do another function string. We're gonna do function string game name, uh, which I'll define in a second, and then hashtag tagline. So game name equals response dot JSON. And then I want game name and then same thing for tagline. Also, I'm going to teach you a quick trick for Python. If you hold alt, you can select two things at once and then I can just change them both at the same time. Super nice. Now this time it should give me the game name and tagline. If I take this same PUUID and plug it in. So get name and tag PUUID equals 
that and then API key equals API key. There you go, Kumo 9NA1. Now that's gonna be all for this video. In the future, I'm gonna show you how to take this PUUID and then find their match history. And then we're gonna go through some matches. So we're gonna see what that looks like. I'll see you in the next video.